Hey guys, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a pretty new tennis technology that's hit the market recently. And we here at the Avenue Tennis Club have been lucky enough to be one of the first people in the country to test it out. Now it's called the Wingfield Box and you can see it right here behind me. And what it does is it converts your standard tennis court into a digital tennis court, or some like to call it a smart court. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me putting a number of posts on recently with us installing the box and starting to use it with the coaching team. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what it is, what it does, and if you're intrigued by the Wingfield box, consider subscribing to the channel because I'm gonna be making a series of videos of me using this technology in real life here on our coaching program. So let's check it out. So like in any industry, the tennis industry is benefiting from new and exciting technologies. Tennis coaches and tennis players have been looking at stats for a number of years now, but in the past, it's only really been accessible to the top players that have big budgets to do their research. Nowadays, with all of the technology that we've got, amateurs and club players are also able to benefit from these technologies. The Wingfield box is a really good example of this. Now, like I say, we're lucky enough to be testing this out here at the Avenue Tennis Club on one of our courts. This court here, court number 11, a few weeks ago, has had the Wingfield box installed into it. It's quite simple, it's just two units. You've got the Wingfield box itself, but you've also got a rear view camera which records the footage of your match play or your free play session. We've had a little bit of electrical work that's installed the Wingfield box. So we've had cabling which links the electricity from the clubhouse out to the Wingfield box here, along with internet connection. So the third crucial part to the Wingfield Smart Court is the app itself. On this app, you can access all of the stats that have been picked up through the Wingfield box. These stats include the shots played, it can tell you how many forehands, backhands, serves, and volleys you've played during your session. It can tell you how many of those shots were in, out, long, wide, or in the net. It can tell you your average rally length, whether your rallies are lasting between zero and four shots, between five and eight shots, or nine shots plus. It's also smart enough to show you exactly where all of your shots have landed and it can break those down between your forehands, backhands, serves and volleys, which can be great for if you want to work on things like depth. It can feed back to you exactly where your balls have been landing on the court, along with where your contact point is. Alongside these things, it also tells you the height of your shots over the net, along with your ball speed. Although I've only scratched the surface with these stats, I know for a fact it's gonna make a huge difference to our coaching. And for our club members to be able to access these stats, it's gonna be incredible for their development. So as I say, this was just a brief introduction to let you know about the Wingfield Box and what it does. In the next video, I'm going to be going into a little bit more depth about the different settings that you can use and how you actually check into the court if you want to play. I'll show you a little bit more about how the screen looks on the Wingfield box and also on your app. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to know about the Wingfield box or if there's any type of content you'd like to see me make with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.